you guys so i don't have any makeup on but that's because i wanted to do a tag challenge um of the no mirror makeup challenge so that's why this face has nothing on it because i'm sure that the look afterwards is not going to be too cute so um if you want to see how this video turns out make sure you keep watching okay so let's just go ahead and start this uh fiasco i'm going to be using my maybelline fit me um foundation i am in the shade ivory 115 um and you may know that i don't really like this foundation in a sense that i think my skin is allergic to it but for the sake of this video i'm just gonna go ahead and use it um, i'm also not going to prime my face for the sake of not wasting product um you know can't help it oh kitty what are you doing so i'm just going to go ahead and dot this on my face i think i got too much foundation to begin with uh it's so weird not being able to look and see what i'm doing um <laughs> So my philosophy right now is to blend until my arms fall off um, and if you feel like I'm looking away from the camera that's because I am so I just uh, I don't really know what to do with my hands right now so I'm just gonna keep blending make sure that I get my ears awkward to not have a mirror to look at you're probably gonna hear me say that a lot so I feel like I've gotten my whole face but I also feel like I haven't gotten my whole face so okay I think I'm done with foundation so next I'm going to put on concealer. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer as well in the shade Fair. So we're going to hopefully put this successfully under the eyes. As mama got some dark circles right now. Put it down the nose. Might as well just go ahead and do the whole thing. blend I love this concealer but sometimes it burns under these eyes and I think it's just this collection which is unfortunate because it is a flawless connection connection collection and of course my body hates it okay I think I'm all blended so next is the eyebrows I'm nervous I'm nervous I'm going to oh that's my eyebrow be using um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Wiz in the shade dark brown so today we're going for a subtle eyebrow <laughs> oh, this is the funniest part in videos for me oh man okay I'm just gonna wing it and let's hope for the best. I feel like I'm just doing the same spot over and over. I also feel like the seal's wrong. I'm, I'm already nervous. Okay. Hmm. I think this one's easier. 
because this is my bad eyebrow, so it doesn't really matter if this eyebrow is messed up. Because brushing might help. Alright. So that's it. Because I got bored with it. As well as, I mean, is it really going to get any better, better, better than whatever is going on? Okay, so I forgot to set my under eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you know what? Like, I just might as well bake while we're at it which I like to do as I'm doing my eyebrows. So I am going to use the Cody Airspun um, Loose Face Powder. And I love this stuff. The, um, the fragrance is pretty strong, but that's okay. I can live with it. So we're going to let this sit on my face for a little bit. I was going to use a cream blush, but I can't because I just put powder on my face. It's cool. It's okay. okay time to brush that bake away. This part feels like the best part thus far. Okay. Um, we are going to go ahead and set the rest of my face. I know that there's a mirror in what I'm about to use, so I don't want to look at it. But I'm going to use my Cover FX. Um... Perfect Press Powder in the shade Light. Here's what it looks like. Oh, man, almost looked in the mirror. Okay. So, I'll just pat this on over the rest of the face. That's it. That's that. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte blush because I can't use my cream blush that I was going to use because I put powder on my face um, and it is in the shade party you guys know that I love this stuff maybe it's a good thing that I'm using this subtle because I think that cream blush would have turned out rough here is what the blush looks like um, so yeah there's a mirror trust and true dab and smile. Dab. And smile. I think I went too far in. You know, I don't really want some blush today. I think it's a subtle blush. <sighs> so, uh, I'm going to just clean off my brush real quick. And use the same brush for um, my bronzer, which is a bamboo bronzer in the shade Palm Island. It's from Ciate London. I got it in my um, Ipsy, yeah, Ipsy bag. I'm not going to contour because I don't usually contour. I'm just going to warm up this face. Now I've only used this stuff a couple times but from what I've used before it's pretty subtle and I'm really wanting that uh sun-kissed skin today so let's see how it looks layered up because why not test it out for the first time layered up without a mirror so I'm just gonna move this in circular motions then we're going to take it up and across the temples because that's where you always get sun kissed at naturally. This other temple. I just like to put a little on my forehead. And then my jaw. I think I might be being a little bit too liberal for with this. Liberal? I think. Is that the word I mean? <sighs> and now my face is hopefully bronzed. Alright. Onto the eyeshadow. So, trust and true, I'm going with what I know. I'm using my nudes palette um, from CoverGirl, and we're 
we're going to hope for the best on this one. So, I'm not going to use a eyelid primer because this look is not going to stay on my face for too long. So first I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Pointing to it, yeah. Um, pat it off. I'm going to go with what feels natural. What you doing? What's feeling natural? <laughs> is uh windshield wiper motions so that's what we're going with so that first shade was my transition shade and um i feel that i've done that enough and got that all over my face so next i'm face eyes hopefully it might be all over my face who knows um so next it's going to be this shade right here Okay, so I've got that next shade all over my eyes, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Um, real quick, I'm going to get a brush, clean it off, because my brush is a dust really need clean. Um, wet it with some Make It Last setting spray to intensify. Um, so now that I have that shimmer shadow all over my lid, I'm going to take that second shadow that I used, the darker brown one, use the same packer brush, and put it, oh, oh, there we go, on this outer corner. This brush is wet, so I'm hoping it doesn't screw up the shadow. And then just real quick, I'm going to take that and blend all this back together. That same darker brown shade that I've been using to hopefully prevent any harsh lines. Okay, so for the sake of good measure, I just know my eyeshadow. Hopefully it's not on my face anymore. We are almost there. Um... I just want to use my Marc Jacobs liner in the buff, and I wanted to challenge myself. Let's put this on underneath. Woo, that tickled. Woo! This is the part I am most nervous about. This. This right here. I just need to curl my lashes. I've been stalling. I need to stop stalling. I'm not sure why I'm so nervous. All right, so I'm going in with my Clinique Sampler Mascara. I don't know why I keep calling them samplers. It's a tester. <sighs> Let's asleep. There's also something in my eye. myself like three times in the eye with that. 
that was not a next on to lips and I'm just gonna use something just for the heck of it because it's gonna make it harder because I feel like I can do a better lip with a um, doe foot applicator rather than a lipstick this is a NYX lipstick um, Alabama I either got this in an ipsy or a boxy charm I've actually never used this Okay, so I think my whole face is done. Um, I'm not going to set it because I don't think I want this to stay on all day. Um, but yeah, now I guess it's time for the reveal. Okay, so three, two, one. Oh man, those lips are rough. <laughs> oh my eyebrows. Oh God. Oh, I'm going to have to make you guys close up. Um, so the blush is not bad. I think that the bronzer is a little orangey. Eyeshadow honestly looks really good. There's one little mishap right here that I didn't get any of the shimmer shadow on, but this eye looks bomb. I also just realized that I didn't do my under eyes for, with the eyeshadow. Um... When I was doing my lower lashes, I got mascara underneath there instead. These lips. Even though boy, no. But honestly, not that bad. So I'm going to do a close up so you can really see everything. Okay. So hopefully this isn't too loud. I'm going to apologize. I'm really close to the mic. But. Do you see these lips? <laughs> oh gosh, they crack me up. So, do you guys see that? <laughs> that one isn't as bad compared to the other one, shockingly. Uh, this other one though. <laughs> oh gosh. Look at that. And that's everything for this video. I hope that you liked it because it was funny for me to do it. And I hope that you enjoyed my mishaps. <laughs> um, challenge yourself to a no mirror makeup challenge. You might surprise yourself because honestly, like, the foundation, concealer, the face stuff, not too bad. The eyeshadow stuff, not too bad. Um, it's the eyebrows and the lips that got me. But I just realized I forgot to put highlighter on. That's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure it would have been okay. But anyways, um, make sure that if you like this video, you give it a big thumbs up. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I post every Tuesday and Thursday. Um, make sure that you enter into my giveaway that's currently going on. Um, that's going to end June 4th, so make sure you know you... Go watch that video, I'll link it down below for you, and you, you enter for a chance to win some pretty cool makeup in my opinion. Um, you can hit that little bell and it will tell you every time that I post and um, I think that's everything. Bye guys. I also cannot stop laughing at this eyebrow. I am not sure why but it's just, <laughs> I can't, I can't do this, I can't do this outro without laughing because I know that some things are a little messed up. you enjoyed it. Challenge yourself to a no makeup challenge. No makeup challenge? I think I have made a great mistake. I think I've, I think I've messed up. I don't know why I keep calling them slanters. Slant. Blah, blah, blah. But anyways, <laughs> I'm rambling.